Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a mini figurine effect on Photoshop. So what you want to do is go on Google Images or Yahoo Images or wherever you get your images. Find a nice picture of the countryside. Um, it doesn't really matter what the picture is. It effect works almost on any picture. But I found this picture on Google Images by typing in countryside. And I really like this picture, so what we're going to do with it is go to the Granite Tool, which is also part of the Paint Bucket Tool. You want to select it, and it's easier to find because it's right below the Eraser Tool. And once you have it selected, these options up here become able to be messed with. And what you want to have selected is this tool, which is called Reflected Granite. Once you have that selected, you're going to hit the Q key on your keyboard. Once you hit the Q key, the spot right below your colors will light will um, highlight with a gray square. It is an edit standard mode. Once you have that selected, just click and drag and it should look like this. Once it looks like this, um, it will mask out the top and the bottom part of this quick mask. Once you have a spot that you like, just hit the Q key and it'll make a selection of that spot. So what you're going to do next is have a lasso tool selected. It doesn't matter what lasso tool you have selected, just as long as it's a lasso tool. So what you're going to do next is right click and go up to select inverse. Once you select inverse, the top and bottom part will be now editable. So what you're going to do is go to filter, blur, lens blur. Once you get do that, this pops up. And what you want to have is your threshold in the 200 range. You don't want it anywhere below and you don't want it too hot far up. It gets really choppy when you have it too high and it gets really ugly when it has it too low and for your radius you want to have it in the 30 ranges because if you have it too high it's not going to look good and if you have it too low it's not going to look good so what you want is 35 or 30 it doesn't matter just as long as it's in the 30 range once that's done leave everything else to zero keep the noise at one and just hit OK. Photoshop will take a while to load so just bear with it while it loads. Depending on the picture it will take longer so if the image is too big you might want to shrink it first before you attempt this effect. Once it's finished loading I'll continue with the tutorial. Alright, once that's done, what you're going to do now is in the selected area, with the lasso tool selected, right click again, and select inverse. Now the area that you had selected before will be now editable, so what you're going to do with that, go to image, adjustments, brightness, and contrast. Now check up the brightness. Leave it in about in the 30 range, because if you go any higher, it's not going to have a good effect. If you go any lower, obviously it's not going to look good. So I usually go with about 35, and just hit OK. Deselect your selected area, and you are finished. It gives off a really nice effect, makes the bridge look like it's just a little toy model thing or something. But it's a really easy and very simple, and it works with almost any picture. I hope you found this tutorial useful. 
and thank you for watching if you have any comment any questions just leave a comment in the comments below and thank you for watching again have a nice day